hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for watching if you are here for the first time hello hi welcome my name is Simbulele, and as you can tell by the title of today's video i'm going to be sharing a few benefits you can enjoy through living a celibate life and without wasting any time let's get right into it some of the knowledge I'll be sharing in this video is um, knowledge that I have accumulated through my own life experience. If you've seen my previous videos, I mentioned that I was celibate for seven years before I got married. But some of the knowledge I have acquired through research, through reading and through watching videos. And so some of the knowledge I'll be imparting today is from other people's life experiences. Okay. There are many reasons why people choose to live celibate lives. Some do it because they have spiritual and religious convictions and some do it because they want to practice self-discipline and exercise self-control and some do it because of the health benefits of celibacy. However, I believe and think that the benefits of celibacy are universal. So whatever your reasons are for wanting to live a celibate life or for being celibate, this video is for you. Benefit number one you build a better relationship with God. This is a spiritual benefit. Um, sex was created by God. It is a gift from God to man. Some people say sex is a divine act, and by this they mean that there is a spiritual aspect to it. However, I think it's important to recognize that sex was also a gift for physical pleasure from God to man. And I think the problem only arises when we chase after sex just for the physical pleasure and without recognizing the spiritual aspect of it. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God, and this includes sex. However, God also recognizes that any good thing can be spoiled. And this is why God has given us instructions to sort of protect sex and prevent it from becoming a bad thing, prevent it from spoiling. I don't think I need to mention ways of how we have spoiled sex today and how sex can become a bad thing. Um, and so God has given us instructions of when to enjoy sex, how to enjoy sex, who to enjoy sex with, and also how frequently we should be enjoying this gift. One of these instructions is that Sex should only be enjoyed between two people within the institution of marriage or within the covenant of marriage. And so then when we choose to abstain from sex or when we choose to be celibate, it is um, obedience to God's instruction. It is an act of faith. It is a sign that you trust God. It shows that you trust God enough to put aside your own desires for his will and you trust him enough that he will provide for you in this area of your life. He will take care of you in this area of your life. And obedience in one area of your life doesn't just stop there. It sort of snowballs into other areas of your life as well. And hence I'm saying celibacy or obedience to God in this one area of your life can sort of build a better relationship with God. Um, not just in that one area of your life, but um, overall. Um, I believe that life is hard. Life can be very difficult, whether you believe in God or not. But when you have a trusting relationship with God, when you trust God and you show this through obedience, it shows that you understand that you don't have to do life by yourself. It shows that you understand that there is a higher power you can call upon in times of need. There is a higher power that can strengthen you to overcome any temptation. Also, I did mention that I recognize that there are many reasons why people choose to be celibate, right? Um, even if it's not for spiritual or religious convictions, you may experience a spiritual awakening through celibacy. You may be able to hear the voice of God because God is always speaking to us. God is always speaking to build a personal relationship with each and every one of us. So through celibacy, you may experience a spiritual awakening. You may be able to hear God's voice, and that may lead um, to you building a better relationship with God and recognizing that there is a higher power, a personal, loving, higher power. Benefit number two that you can enjoy through living a celibate life is that you get to build a better relationship with yourself. 
celibacy as a journey and it can be a tough one. And let's be honest, our culture today celebrates and elevates sex. And it can be very awkward and uncomfortable and weird to say that you are abstaining from sex or that you are living a celibate life for whatever reason. So let's acknowledge that being celibate in today's culture requires a lot of self-sacrifice, a lot of self-discipline. However, the more you succeed at it, despite the pressures from within or from without, the more self-respect you develop. And that is how you build self-respect and self-confidence through being true to yourself, through being true to your convictions, no matter what, no matter the external or the internal pressures. A quick way to destroy your self-confidence or showing that you do not take yourself seriously is by not following through with the promises that you make to yourself or by not keeping the standard that you have set for yourself. So when you practice self-control and self-discipline through celibacy, you build a better relationship with yourself. You build a better trusting relationship with yourself. Also, I don't think it just ends there with self-respect, but I, I think other people also respect you. It sort of spills over to other people. I think people, when people recognize that you have a, you have set a standard for yourself, and you do not compromise, I, I think people respect that as well. And also on a more personal experience as a young woman, I think being celibate kind of helps thieve the kind of men that approach me, the men that want to have a relationship with me. Um, I think when men recognize that you have a standard that they cannot live up to, that sort of repels them. And when you attract men who are kind and successful and good because there are good men out there so when you attract those kind of men I think that does something to your self-confidence as a young woman as well number three another benefit of being celibate is that you build a better relationship with your partner first and foremost right um, I think I did mention that being celibate or choosing to abstain from sex is an individual choice it's a personal journey. Um, it's not something that you can do because your friend is doing it or because your partner is doing it. You must have a personal conviction. Yeah, celibacy can be tough. Um, it also can be a very lonely and isolating journey. And sometimes you are really forced to spend time alone to introspect and to get to know yourself better as an individual. And guys, lately I've been reading a lot about sex and marriage and love. And one thing I've learned about sex so far is that it was designed to create feelings of affection towards the other person, feelings of love towards the other person. So whether it is done before or after marriage, it will do what it was designed to do. Having sex with someone will produce those feelings of love towards that person and it will actually make you feel loved by that person as well. However, when you are celibate or when sex is out of the picture, you are forced to find other ways or other things that can make you feel loved. So you'll be spending a lot of time by yourself, learning yourself as an individual, learning what else makes me feel loved. And when you know what these things are, you can then communicate them with your partner and that will help you create a better relationship with your partner. And I want to mention, guys, that there's a book that I've been reading that explores um, other ways of feeling loved, other things um, that a partner can do to make you feel loved besides sex. And if you'd like me to share these things, please let me know in the comments down below, okay? So another way that celibacy can help build a better relationship with your partner is if you are maybe in a relationship with someone who has the same convictions as you and you are both um, choosing to be celibate, that can create a trusting relationship um, between you and your partner. When your partner practices self-control, that is if they do not engage in premarital sex, um, this sort of creates a confidence that they will be faithful to you and won't engage in extramarital sex. Okay. I'm not benefit number four, we'll break it down into two parts discernment and detachment. 
I think that when you are celibate, you are able to hear God's voice more clearer. You are able to hear God's voice when he shows you that the person that you are with is not good for you or this is not the person that you should be with. As I mentioned earlier, um, being celibate is a sign of faith. It's being obedient to God's instruction and it shows that you are willing to hear God's voice even when he says things that are not very desirable to you because you are willing to put his will before your own desires. So when we disobey God, when we have sex outside of God's instructions, that sort of blocks the voice of God and we are unable to hear him when he speaks to us or we are unable to see when he shows us that this is not the person for you, this is not the person that you are supposed to be with because sex can sort of cloud our judgment. Okay, so when it comes to detachment, right, according to the Bible, having sex with someone makes you one flesh. It doesn't say that when you have sex with someone you are married to or when you have sex with someone that you love. It says just having sex with someone um, makes you one flesh. According to Paul, according to the Bible, mere copulation makes you one flesh flesh right and that is why sometimes people stay in toxic relationships or abusive relationships and we judge them because we do not understand we must remember that sex produces feelings of love feelings of affection you essentially become one with that person that is why then it, it becomes very difficult to detach yourself from that person because you become one flesh and it can feel like you are divorcing yourself from them. It actually may feel like you are divorcing yourself from yourself because you've become one flesh with that person. And that is why going back to my point that um, sex, yes, it's meant for physical pleasure, but there's also a spiritual aspect to it. And so celibacy protects you from that, right? It makes it easier for you, not easy, but easier for you to detach yourself from that person when you recognize that the relationship no longer serves you or that this is not the relationship God desires for you. Number five, health benefits, right? There are health benefits to being celibate. Many people recognize that um, being sexually active, having sex with one person or with multiple partners can predispose them to sexually transmitted um, diseases and infections, whether it's HIV, herpes, gonorrhea, there's a long list of them. Abstaining from sex or being celibate can protect you from these things. We know that sexually transmitted diseases can not only lead to adverse health complications, but can also lead to mental, emotional, and psychological complications as well. While there are many measures that we can take to protect ourselves from STDs or prevent unwanted or unplanned pregnancies, um, whether it's contraceptives, vaccines, or even having an abortion, but we know these things only deal with the physical effects of sex, right? With the physical outcomes of sex. Um, celibacy, on the other hand, is a holistic measure. It not only protects you physically, but also protects you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually as well. Because remember, as we said, there is a spiritual aspect to sex. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have found this information helpful, please do leave a comment down below. Or if you have any other benefits that you have experienced yourself from your own personal journey and you want to add to this, please also leave a comment down below. And I just want to say thank you guys for leaving your comments. I don't just read them. Some of them really touch me and I mention you guys in my prayers. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care.